This is the new BMW M5 CS. Now you can think of the normal M5 competition as being like a white Bavarian sausage. It's a little bit, hmm. However, this is like the white Bavarian sausage when served with that fruity mustard. The whole experience is just more enjoyable. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why it is and what exactly is the fruity bit of mustard that BMW has added to this M5 here. Now to do that, I'm gonna show you around the exterior. The interior, I'm gonna take it for a drive. I'm gonna launch it to see how quick it is from 0 to 60 miles an hour. And I'm gonna drive it like a complete idiot as well. Now, if you enjoy these kind of videos, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way, you won't miss a single upload. Anyhow, I'm Mark Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Buying a new car? Then head to Car Wow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. Car Wow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Let's start this video by talking about the design upgrades you get over the normal M5 competition. Key one is this, look. Carbon fibre bonnet. Wow. And then there's this different colour trim here. So BMW call this gold. Doesn't look that gold to me. Bit silvery, grey, yellowy. Anyhow, you also get BMW's top of the range laser lights, a uh, standard, which have a brilliant high definition beam and they can blank out part of their beam so you don't dazzle oncoming drivers. Also, the daytime running lights, they light up in a yellowy colour to match the not really that yellowy gold here on the grill. Other differences at the front are you get some different inserts here, air intakes in the bumper and a carbon fibre front splitter for you to ground out and shatter when you go over a speed hump when driving through town in London. Didn't happen to me, honestly. BMW, that was crap before I had it, honest, swear to God. Now at the side, you get some unique alloy wheels, once again in the not so gold, gold colour and brake calipers in either red or gold. You get gold here for the M bit of plastic and carbon fibre door mirrors. The car itself is actually seven millimetres lower to the ground than a normal M5 competition to improve the centre of gravity and make it look a little bit more meaner. Then round the back, you have some darker tail lights and a bigger bootlet spoiler, which incidentally is also carbon fibre. You also get a carbon fibre diffuser there and gold, not gold, quad tail pipes. And of course, your M5 CS badge in gold, not gold as well. Now, all these upgrades do come at a price. So this car starts from £141,000. Now, if you're looking for one of these cars or a BMW M5 competition, you can actually save an average of about £20,000 off an M5 competition through CarWow. That's still quite a lot of money. So what I've done, I've put a link up here, right, to an alternative car to this, which is fast, it's fun, it's practical, but it's a lot cheaper. It's a good car. Click on the link to see what that is, okay, and see what the saving is. Now, if you're looking for a new car or you're looking to sell your car and you need some help selling it, simply Google Help Me Car Wow. My team and I will help you choose the right car for you and get it for a fair price from one of our trusted dealers, or we'll help you get a fair price for the car you're trying to sell. Enough about the styling. You want to hear about the engine. I'm going to talk about the styling <laughs> of the engine. Look, yes, love this carbon fiber engine cover. So cool, and it's standard. Anyway, engine itself, 4.4 litre twin turbo V8. It's got 635 horsepower, so 10 horsepower more than a normal M5 competition. Still puts out the same 750 newton meters of torque. It also drives all four wheels via the same eight speed automatic torque converter gearbox. Does it sound the same now? Let's find out. Rev it up, go on, start it. Give me some revs. Flex! Now let's hear it from the exhaust. Give it some more revs. Now I'm going to launch this car to see how quick it is a little later on in this video. Before then though, there's some other things we need to look at. Thankfully for a car with all this power, BMW gives it some good brakes. As standard, you get carbon ceramics. Now normally they would cost about £6,000 extra on a normal M5, but here they are standard. Ideal if you do lots of track days because they resist fade much better than steel brakes. For the diameter of the disc, 400 millimetres and they're gripped by six piston calipers. You've got three 80 millimetre discs at the back gripped by a single piston caliper. Now this car comes with track day focus Pirelli P0 Corsa tyres. Now it does normally if you're a customer, but these tyres just seem to be normal P0s. It's a press car. They probably knew I was going to hoon it around a track and just rinse through the tyres. So they just gave me the cheaper ones. Thank you, BMW. Anyway, how will these tyres affect the braking performance? Let's find out. Right, let's do a brake test from 60 miles an hour. Here we go, I'm going to stop now. How long will it take to stop? Let's have a look. 
32 meters. That's the same as a certain sports car. Click on the pop-out banner up there to see which car it was. As well as upgrades to the engine and the brakes, BMW has also tweaked this car's chassis over the standard M5 competition. So it gets adaptive dampers from the M8, so they're more expensive and better quality than the adaptive dampers you get on the M5 competition. It also has a rated spring, so firmer springs at the front and the back. Another thing BMW has done to this car is reduce the weight. So just like a normal M5 competition, you've got a carbon fibre roof. This one has been shat on by a bird. Anyway, in addition to the carbon roof, it also gets the other carbon bits, helps reduce the weight. Then there's the fact the car's wheels are forged, so they're lighter. The carbon ceramic brakes, they're lighter than normal brakes. Save over 20 kilos in total, those brakes do. And then there's some other bits and pieces they've done, like remove some sound deadening and seats are different and all that kind of thing. The total weight saving is 70 kilos, which means that this M5 CS comes in at 1825 kilos, which is pretty impressive for such a big car. In fact, it's just 95 kilos heavier than the smaller M3. The M5 CS also has rated stiffer engine mounts. Now, if I was a German review, I'd probably give you the exact stiffness. I'd be saying something like, Yeah, so I have a spin rating of 900 Newton millimeters. But I'm not going to do that because I'm English. What I will do is take it for a drive now and see what effect all these changes have. Right, let's go for a drive in this beast of an M5 CS. And the moment you pull away in this thing, you know it feels different to a normal M5 competition. It really does. It's, it's almost like they've created a GT racing car version of the M5. It's like the difference between a Porsche 911, a normal one, and a GT3. This is what this car, this is BMW's GT3. It's freaking epic. The changes they've made have transformed this car. The suspension is firmer, but it actually goes over bumps better than the normal M5 competition. I don't know how that is. I guess it's just more expensive suspension, feels more expensive and does a better job. The steering's loads better too. I, I don't know how they've done this. It's so, so good. It's really sharp. It, it lets you know more of what's going on. You can feel the road more through the rim. Rim, anyway. It's... <laughs> I love this car so much, I really, really do. I had it on track actually, I blasted this thing on track for hours on end and it was so much fun. You wouldn't know that it's getting on for two tons, you just wouldn't. The way it handles is beautiful and it's really balanced as well. You've got that long wheelbase so it just breaks into oversteer quite smoothly. You've got loads of traction as well from the four wheel drive system, it's incredible. Brakes on track, really good. Those common ceramics just stand up to heavy, 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 heavy braking. On the road, I'm not the biggest fan of common ceramics on the road, to tell you the truth. They just feel a little bit on the grabby side. They really can. That's with all carbon ceramics. It's harder to be smooth on your braking, less progressive. And you kind of want to be smooth on your braking in a car like this. Because after all, it's a family car that's sensible isn't it? Speaking of which, you know, for long distance work, it's actually pretty good. The seats are firm, but they're supportive. Like I said, the suspension, it's firm, but it's really good at dealing with bumps. You do notice it's a bit louder inside than the normal M5 because they've clearly removed some soundproofing, but it's not terribly annoying. It's just get a bit of noise from those tires. That's all really. It's absolutely lovely. The gearbox, torque converter gearbox, eight speeds. When you're just cruising along, it's nice and smooth. And if you need to suddenly take off, floor it. You have a pause, but it soon finds the right gear and you're off. And changes are pretty quick, you know, for a torque converter. Not as quick as if you had a dual clutch, but when you've got the gearbox set to maximum shift speed, you do get a jolt in your back. It's not quite the thwack you got from the old dual clutch, but it's fine. And that engine, oh, the engine just pulls and pulls and pulls and pulls and pulls. And it makes a nice noise as well. And when you combine it with this brilliant chassis, it's so good. I mean, it is so good. This is my favorite M car. Right now, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite M car. They've absolutely smashed it with this. It's very expensive, this thing, but if you have the means, stretch yourself, pay the extra, get it over the M5 competition. You will not be disappointed. And I'm sure that when the time comes to sell it on, because it's limited, because it's rare, because it's the very top M5, it's just gonna hold its value better. And who cares anyway, because you're gonna have so much fun, it's gonna pay for itself in terms of big grins. I don't know why, it's a limited to that. Big grins. <laughs> Well done BMW, this is awesome. Now if you want to see how this car compares to its key competitors from Porsche, Mercedes and Audi, click on the pop-out banner up there to go watch my group test.
my German high performance saloon group test. You'll love it. This M5 CS isn't only nicer to drive than the M5 competition, it's just a nicer place to be. This steering wheel is lovely with the Alcantara on it and the centre stripe so you know exactly which way it's pointing. It's also got this black metallic -y, chromey trim on the steering wheel which I like. Then there's the carbon fibre gear shifter paddles which are like those on the M3. Like the fact you've got Alcantara roof lining as well and you've got unique trim here and here you've got red stitching here CS badge in red there on the dash you've got CS on the kick plates but the standout feature in here are these bucket seats they're carbon fiber they're extremely comfy over long distances yeah they hold you very very well in place when you're hooning around corners I love them and they're really adjustable they're fully electric they're heated and you can really raise them up if you're a bit of a short arse and you need to see right over the the bonnet say if you're driving through London and need to get through a width restrictor but then when you're on track and you're wearing a helmet you can slam these right on the floor so you feel like you're in a touring car look how low these go so low however they're not without fault you see these huge side bolsters make it really hard to get in and out sometimes if you sit down a little bit prematurely you end up getting jabbed in the anus isn't great then there's this bit here which if you want a left foot brake or hold it on the brake when you're launching jabs into your thigh and that brings up to five annoying things about the bmw m5 cs well the seats in the front look cool hold you in place when you're going quickly yeah are also comfy the ones in the back just look cool and hold you in place when the driver's going quickly which you probably won't enjoy anyway but they're not comfy at all not at all and the middle seat yeah i mean if anyone tries to sit here these ridges on the seat will splay their bum cheeks which means that they might do an accidental poo though there is this tray here it's obviously what that's for to act as a commode just in case the person in the middle actually no one's going to sit here because there's no seat belt it'd be illegal so it's not as practical as a normal m5 competition these brakes produce a lot of brake dust i mean look at this and the pads must have some kind of iron compound in them because look it's all rusted people will look at this and go oh my god your wheels are rusting that's not very good on a car this expensive you bought really badly you idiot this car is pretty well equipped and standard. However, there's one feature missing. You don't get adaptive cruise, so it's not got the steering or the thing that will keep you safe distance from a car in front. Yeah, that is standard on a Toyota Yaris. This is 140,000 pounds. What are you doing, BMW, you bunch of thieves? While you get the same boot capacity as the normal M5, which is 530 litres, and pretty decent, the rear seats don't fold at all, so you can't carry really longer items. Also, look at this. Yeah, that's actually for just locking the car from the boot. It's not for the electronic tailgate, because there isn't one on this for some reason, even though it's really expensive. You have to shut the boot like that. What a load of bollocks. I've got a new phone, right? Look at this. Samsung Galaxy Fold. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. It's insane, isn't it? Thing is, when I've got it in this stupid case, yeah, I know, I hate the case, but I will drop it, so I've got to have a case for it. It won't fit in the wireless charging port there. Look, it won't quite fit, it's just a bit too big. So what I'd normally do in an M5 competition is open this centre console here and charge it in there with a the USB-C, fast charging. For some reason, though, you can't get into the centre console on the CS. They've, they've, they've just kept it closed. I don't know why they've done that. Stupid. Thankfully, this car has plenty of cool features to help make up for all this. Here's five. I love the way BMW M5 CS is embossed on the inside of the carbon fibre bonnet. That is just super cool. Here's another cool Easter egg on this car. See the outline on the headrest? That's the Norge Life. It's because this car's suspension has been specifically tuned on the Nürburgring. Now, normally I'd be very, very careful about saying the Nürburgring in a car wire video because I always seem to get kicked for some reason, but there is no way anyone can kick me inside a car. So, ha 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 ha. What the actual. The M5 CS gets an improved oil sump, an improved oil pump and an overall improved oil supply system. So it's less likely to suffer from oil starvation when you're pulling high G's, hooning it like a crazy thing. Run a track. Don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> up. <laughs> up. The images of the car that you get on the infotainment system aren't just of any old five series or a normal M5. Look, it's an M5 CS with the M5 CS badge there and the gold, not gold wheels and grill. Actually, it looks like real gold here. Not gold, not gold. As with the normal M5 competition, this car has the four-wheel drive system, which you can put in rear-wheel drive mode, so you can do stuff like this. 
obviously very, very important. However, unlike the normal M5, which has its top speed limited to 155 miles an hour, this car's top speed is limited to 190 miles an hour. So it's the quickest M5 at the factory ever. This car is supposed to do 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds, but what will it really do? Especially timing gear up here, let's find out. Nose control ready. Oi, hooks. Hooks good. <laughs> 2.88 seconds. <laughs> Did that sound funny when I said that? 2.88 seconds. 2.88 seconds. A little bit quick, it makes you talk like an idiot. Wow. So then, what's my final verdict on the new BMW M5 CS? Should you avoid it? Should you consider it? Should you shortlist it? Or should you just go right ahead and buy it? Well, I reckon you should just go right ahead and buy the new M5 CS. But Matt, are you sure you could have an M550i and an M2 CS for the same money as this? I don't care. I'd, I'd much rather have this. It's the complete car. I don't need two cars. It is, as far as I'm concerned, the best M car you can buy right now. So, shut your face. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you didn't, why are you still here? Now, if you did enjoy the video and you haven't subscribed yet, it's about blooming time, come on, just do it. Hit that box there and subscribe, yeah? Now, if you want to watch some more videos, just click on those windows.